morning. You can see our beautiful morning faces as we glow in the sun. <laughs> Your face is orange. Is it? From the pain. <laughs> well? Today is prep day for tomorrow being. Well, maybe pain today. Day. Well, hopefully, yeah, today. Yeah. Can say that one. So we're super excited. Today is going to be paint day. We'll call it paint day or paint weekend. Um, I know I've seen a lot of videos where people are really dreading this part of the project, for, but for me, I'm extremely excited because this is going to give us like a new face to the bus. It's going to be beautiful. And so today what we're going to be working on is mostly sanding and taping and putting paper up to cover the windows and all that good stuff. Kind of the prep that goes in before the paint. And then we get to paint. And we got a paint gun or a yeah. uh, paint sprayer. <clears throat> With the other bus we painted it all by hand um, and then we had friends come and help us and painted the whole thing white with two coats and then I went back and did like detail colors in certain places and then like linear details with smaller brushes which eventually we'll do with this bus um, and it looks really right good. now we'll just do all one coat sprayed you didn't like the texture that the other bus had well so first and foremost it looks really really good but and if, when you look really close up you can see the brush marks and so that was one thing that I wanted to avoid and then another thing is is that using those paint sprayers you can get it knocked out so fast I mean you can do one side in like 30 minutes the main thing that takes the most of the time is the prep work and so for me I was like alright well what we can do is take instead of painting it forever um, take the time to do the prep and then just spray it right yeah, on. Yeah, do all one go. We're also going to probably do like side by side because we have this little one. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it a little bit harder to do like a hardcore like entire bus paint job. So we'll go side by side. So right now we're going to work on this front side which is the side that we see the most. So um, we're going to get it finished up, sand it, um, wash it, scrub it down, let it dry, tape up the windows, cover the tires, cover the rock holds, Cover everything that doesn't need to be painted. Yeah, and, and then, then we paint. paint. Anyway, we we'll just have to rotate off. We're super excited, <laughs> and um, we're gonna we're gonna I don't know we're gonna get some good shots of us uh, painting this bus and giving Big Bird a new face. I'm so excited. I'm tired of this yellow. Yeah. I'm really tired of this yellow. So with that, Go back mode. to work. I went and removed all the reflective tape and you are now Just using this. Huge job. Um, this wheel, I wish I could remember what it was called, but we got it off Amazon. And it's a wheel that you can use to kind of get all the little uh, sticky bits the off. Residue. The residue is off. And so instead of me, I was going through and sanding it off, but instead of me going through and sanding it down to nothing, um, I found this in the toolbox. I hadn't used it in a while. And so I'm going to go back and try to get all of this remaining adhesive off of here and then we can finish sanding. Cool. side of the bus. I am working on getting all this paper cut to stick up on all windows. So we took the measurement, it's about 25 by 22 and a half for each window. So we're going to get all the paper cut so that all we have to do is stick it up there. What is this? You're not working. <laughs> Don't judge me. With your man fuel? Yeah. Tell us what you're eating. Every morning at 10 30, I eat the same thing. It's very important. Mm -hmm. I get his yogurt with granola and slivered almonds and coconut. But 
here's the thing. I go to get the most important topping, which is raisins. <gasps> I ate all the raisins last night. I'm sorry, babe. Just who ate all my raisins? Who puts raisins in yogurt? That sounds gross. It's the most important topping. No. <laughs> and then to top it off, maple syrup. Or honey. Mama, we're good. <laughs> 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 painting the side of our bus and to do that what we got today was a bear paint and primer in one for exterior oh, red pepper boom and so to be able to for this to spray through this paint gun we have to thin it with water and so that's what we're gonna be doing here we've got a little bucket and we're gonna be pouring it in there and mixing it with water so that it's the right viscosity um, to move through this paint gun um, a lot of times I've seen people use a viscosity test. Um, we don't have one of those, so we're going to do our best and kind of experiment a little bit. That's what we're going to do. Wish us luck. So we were doing some math and watching, um... YouTube. YouTube. ...and it seems to be information the manufacturers are stingy with, 46% relative humidity and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And what you really need is this um, Ford cup to measure it. And so because we don't have that, we're going to have to guess at it. But what we do know is that the bear label says it's no more than a pint per gallon. And so we've done some math and we've poured out half of the gallon here into this cup. And so what that equates to is about, what was it? Two quarts. Half a pint. No more than half a pint or a quarter of a quart. That makes any sense. So anyway, we're gonna start adding water. We know what our maximum is, so we can start with that and start. So we're gonna add. We've seen on videos what the viscosity needs to be, and so we're gonna to need to measure this by eye. It's not the way I'd like to do it, but it's the way we're gonna be doing it today. So let's hope this goes well, and then we're gonna give it a few sprays on some bee boxes to test it out. All right, so we got to the viscosity that we wanted. We hope it's right. We're going to pour some in here, give it a test, and try it on some uh, bee boxes. First. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. We got a much better flow now.